hello guys yeah in this video we'll say something brief introduction about response system first we'll go for impulse response let's consider a system in the system we are giving the input as impulse signal then the output should be an impulse response phase system that's it yeah now we'll write the code for impulse response they give the system equation as uh, y of n minus 0.9 y of n minus 1 equal to x of n let's write the code for impulse code give the command as impulse impulse response impulse response then give then close give the basic matlab comments yeah. before closing all we have to give the clear all just cut it paste after clc we now declare the n value from z declare from minus 3 to 30 now declare the b value in this equation we will declare b as 1 it is the x axis components and the y axis components we will declare it as a that is 1 comma minus 0.9 give the semicolon now we have to give the impulse response so, so you want to get the impulse response so input should be an impulse signal we are declaring the input signal d equal to zeros the impulse signal is declared only at t equal to zero the remaining places it is zero now at d it is when n equal to zero the amplitude of a signal equal to 1 now you subplot two comma one comma one this is a discrete signal so use the stem n comma d then close it then give the semicolon after that give the labels x label give it as uh, n that's fine give y label amplitude give amp as a shortcut then give the title give the title as unit impulse unit impulse signal then yeah till this we know we did for getting the impulse signal now we have to go for the impulse response so we have the inbuilt command for getting impulse response uh, IMPZ it will perform the impulse response of a given system first we will declare the x variable that is b then the y variable that is a 
then how many number of and the declare of n values then we will use subplot for plotting the waveform 2 cross 1 cross 2 then go for plot sorry this is a discrete so we have to use the stem stem and comma y after that we have to give the x label y label and title everything copy it by pressing ctrl c and paste it by pressing ctrl v this change response yeah save the code save the code by telling impulse response save the code then run it we'll get the impulse response of a given signal this is what we need the impulse response yeah this is the expected output for impulse response